What's up everybody, how's it going? A couple of weeks ago, I wrote the following tweet. It's time to set the record straight. There is no best programming language. Every programming language has its unique advantages, pitfalls, and use cases. There is no best programming language. And I really meant that. I think that when people ask the question, what is the best programming language, they're basing that question off of the false premise that there even is a best programming language. And the truth is, there isn't. Every programming language does have its unique advantages and pitfalls, and unless you specify your goals, your current circumstances, your past experiences, what you want to do with the programming language, we can't really answer that question. It's like asking what is the best gym exercise? Sure, you might be able to say the squat or the deadlift, but if you don't specify what your actual goal with the gym exercise is, then we can't actually meaningfully answer. That being said, if you tweak the question just a little bit and you rephrase it to ask, what is the best programming language to start with? Or what is the best first programming language to learn? Then we can actually give a meaningful answer. Or if you tell me that you're looking for a second programming language to learn, but you don't have any clear-cut goal with that second programming language, you're kind of just open to anything, then maybe we can meaningfully answer the question. So with that, the best programming language to start with is, drumroll, drumroll, comment down below what you think, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. The best programming language to learn, or to start with rather, is JavaScript. Now I know some of you are already like screeching, saying like, how could this be unsubscribed? JavaScript is so weird, it's such a fucky language. How could you say that? Hear me out, I've got three really good arguments for why JavaScript is indeed the best first programming language to learn. The first reason is that JavaScript is actually a very easy programming language to learn. Now, wait a second, I know, again, some of you are already jumping the gun and getting out those memes of like, you know, weird JavaScript operations where you get true if you order things one way and false if you order them another way. That's not what I'm talking about here. Yes, that's a weird quirk of the language. It certainly has a lot of weird quirks. But overall, JavaScript is a pretty easy language to learn. It abstracts away a lot of the complicated details of other languages, like for instance, memory allocation in C++. You don't have to worry about that. When you're declaring things like arrays, you don't have to worry about the length that you've specified for the array. Everything is nice and dandy like that. It's got tons of methods methods built into the language natively. You don't have to import any packages or anything like that. You just call them. On top of that, you don't have types in JavaScript, which is debatably a good or bad thing. I would argue that when you're starting to learn programming, when you're using your first programming language, not having types is a little bit better. It's a little bit easier. It's just less stuff to have to learn about. And the nice thing is we've got TypeScript that is a great sort of follow-up language to learn once you've mastered JavaScript. And then finally, just the syntax of JavaScript, the pure unadulterated syntax of the language is actually quite nice. It's very easy to read. It translates pretty well to other languages. In other words, a lot of other languages have similar syntaxes, so it's pretty easy to learn other languages coming from JavaScript. And having had quite a bit of experience by now reading a lot of other languages and writing in other languages, because for example, at Algo Expert, my company, we now support nine different languages. By the way, if you're preparing for coding interviews or systems design interviews, check out my company, Algo Expert. Go to algoexpert.io and use the promo code CLEM, C -L -E -M, for a discount on the platform. But so all that to say, I can tell you with certainty that JavaScript is quite nice syntactically compared to a lot of other languages. If I compare it to Kotlin or Swift, for example, or Go, I would certainly argue that it's nicer syntactically. And don't even get me started about C++ and Java. Point is, reason number one, JavaScript is a very easy and nice language to learn. Reason number two, and this one is a very powerful reason, JavaScript is uniquely positioned as a language to introduce you to and to equip you to work in 
both the front end and the back end. You see, JavaScript is the de facto front end language, or at least if we're talking about web development, but even mobile development, as I'll talk about in a second. But if you're looking to get into or to at least experience what front-end development is in the web. JavaScript is the go-to language. It is by far the king or the queen, whatever you want to call it. You'll be able to work with some of the best front-end web frameworks like Angular, for example, that some of our friendly neighborhood tech YouTubers are very fond of, or React, which everybody loves. And even if you want to do mobile development or you want to experience mobile development, you can work in React Native, which uses JavaScript. JavaScript is unequivocally the best language to learn if you want to work on the front end. But the nice thing about JavaScript is that it also allows you to experience the back end. If you want to work on the server side, you can work in Node.js, which is actually quite popular these days for the back end. And even if you decide eventually to work in a different language on the back end, you will have been able to experience the back end coming from JavaScript. And you can't say the same thing about other languages. Like, for example, if you start by learning C++, Plus, you're just not going to be able to experience the front end. You're not going to be able to experience front end development. And if we're being honest, what makes JavaScript so powerful here is the fact that it's the de facto language on the front end. Because the back end, there are a lot of other languages that could introduce you to the back end. But JavaScript is really the primary one for the front end, and it's got the added benefit of the back end. But so that's reason number two, and it's a very powerful reason. Last but not least, reason number three that JavaScript is such a great first programming language to learn is that JavaScript is insanely popular. And here I'll give you three data points that prove that it's so popular. First of all, if you look at the Stack Overflow 2019 developer survey, JavaScript is ranked as the most popular language. If you take a look at our data on AlgoExpert, JavaScript is tied at number one with Python as the most popular language on AlgoExpert that people choose to do algorithms and data structures in. And by the way, I would bet that if our video explanations weren't in Python, then we'd have fewer people writing in Python and JavaScript would be unequivocally number one. That's just a, a hunch that I have. So those were the first two data points. The third one is that if you take a look at Google, Google, which is kind of an industry leader in all things engineering, Google is known to have the big five programming languages that it supports. Those are the five programming languages internally that Google like officially supports. You have to have readability if you're writing in those languages or if you want to commit code in those languages. They're Java, C++, Go, Python, and JavaScript. And even, there's actually a sixth one, there might be more now, I forget, but as of like 2018, when I was still there, TypeScript is also an officially supported programming language at Google, so it just goes to show you that JavaScript and TypeScript are extremely popular. But what does it matter, you might ask? At the end of the day, this isn't a popularity contest. Who cares how many people are using the first programming language that you learn? Well, who cares? You should care. The reasons that you should care are, first of all, you're going to have a lot better documentation and support online, lots of forums, lots of tutorials for the language that you're learning, in this case JavaScript. Secondly, if the language is popular, you're going to have an amazing ecosystem in the language. You'll have tons of cool frameworks and projects and packages that you can either contribute to or that you can use that a lot of other languages that aren't as popular aren't going to have. And finally, you're just going to have a lot more job opportunities that require this language. There's a reason that the grand majority of coding boot camps out there are teaching full stack JavaScript because full stack JavaScript is just so popular, it's so in demand, and there are just so many job opportunities for full stack JavaScript developers. JavaScript is just that popular of a programming language, and that matters. So these were the three reasons for which I think that JavaScript is the best first programming language to learn, or if it's your second programming language, let's say you started with something like Java or Python, and you're thinking of branching out now, but you don't have a clear idea of what you want to do, then JavaScript is a great contender. Trust me, 
That's what I learned first. I might be a little bit biased there, but it really worked out well for me. I think it was a great first language that I learned. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know what you thought about it below. Do you disagree with me? Do you agree with me? Follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter if you like short form written content, on Instagram if you like pictures, and I'll see you in the next video.